Hello queens and kings. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Katia Valino. If this is your first time, welcome and thank you for stopping by. You might also want to consider subscribing to this channel. So So you can become part of our YouTube family. There's a red subscription box down somewhere on the right. You can click on that bell and also hit the notification bell so that you will be one of the people to know whenever I upload a video. But trust me, you will never be disappointed. So it's better for you to click on those two buttons, the subscribe and the bell, so you know when I upload a video. So today I want to talk about Musa Nseleke. Musa Nseleke, yes, the news has been flying all over social media. I started following them on Twitter last year. Uh, he said he, he is a 43 years old South African, have four wives, four wives. South African television is featuring them on reality television. He lives separately, so he takes turns to go visit them. To uh, They have 10 children all together, and he says that he wants to have 20 children. And sometime in February this year, the second wife wanted to opt out of the polygamous relationship. He wanted to uh, file for divorce. I don't know. Uh, they are not saying anything about that. But the one that is just breaking the camel's bag is that today, April 6th, it popped up on social media that Musa Nseleke wanted to have wife number five. Five. Yes. Did you hear me? Wife number five. And then wife, the four wives are rebellious. They don't want that to happen. They say that his wife outside of their outside of them and better become a girlfriend and not a wife they say that they are not ready to receive the fifth wife but Musa insists that he wants to have 20 children and so I don't know how they're gonna share that with or without uh, the wife number five they can decide how they're going to produce 20 children it's entirely up to them but my issue here my question here is how will you like to share your man with somebody else, with another woman, knowing that he's coming from another home and coming to you? You know what? I don't know. I kept thinking in my head, how possible is that? I can't deal with that. I don't know if you ha I don't know if you're watching this right now. How will you feel to find out or to know that your husband, not even having a girlfriend, so many women cannot take a husband having a girlfriend, and then you're talking about having four wives. They take turns, obviously. He stays here today, he stays there tomorrow. He, stay, he must be a power horse. How can he handle four women? I'm telling you. I don't know. I wish I can see those wives. I want to ask them questions like, how do they do it? Apart from the sexual aspects of that, like emotional, you want to be there for your man. You want to hold his hands. You want to look him in the eyes. You want even when the business is going wrong, you want to tell him that things are going to be okay. Things are going to be well. And you know that there are other women who take turns. The food, the cooking, the cleaning of the house, and the sexual satisfaction. How is that going to be? Does he do it every day? Does he do it every other day? Like, I don't know. If anybody knows the answer, please feel free to tell me how that works. Or how that is going to work. Because for me, I think sometimes I think I need two husbands. Yes! Two husbands, why not? This Ghana lady, she took it upon herself. Last year, she took two men to the altar. She is married to two men. Oh my God, 
outrageous things keeps happening that one is a different story altogether but i don't know how how she's gonna do that how is she going to sustain two men if she gets pregnant and have babies this two sperm gets into one egg and gets fertilization and then that's ch that child will have two fathers I don't know, I don't want to get into the biological aspects of that, but every day my children will say weirder and weirder. Every day you see things that are happening in the world and you keep asking yourself, is this reality? Is this real? Is this really happening? So rewinding back, four wives and you still want wife number five. In his reality show, he is encouraging men to take the same step that is taken, to go ahead and marry so many wives. I will leave a link at the bottom of this video. You guys can see what is going on on Twitter, how the women, how the wives are ranting and saying that they don't want wife number five. Apparently one of the wives is very big on, uh, on Twitter. So she takes everything to Twitter and tweets about that. And they made a video. They are wanting the number five to be not to not even think of stepping closer unfortunately she mugubukona ingabe shembanda nge mtabukela because she must just know kusi ngega zangene ngega ngene because we won't allow mtombe nge kusa silande lo muntu ngoba nage tandwa yena ekbe nge uzo shala nati so maye kona haka puza manza kol uzo remaina ee girlfriend kotwa ge uma give ala loyonto you should go to Kuse L for Munikoskas. No man ever went and got kicked a cellar bafas about a bafan about hundreds. Gag and giz and giz and give me tande and fun was born and pin the lemonva, hung a nan de kai and got a yang my woods in Utsobile before Ezela Bessazan, see a Michael friends of our woodsman, Sababangan. So mass and figure la. Come sell a woman, say who easy on kin to cause Nyaz who sees a conung and one velo pambil. So anxiety is a given about difficulties among Abu as much as Mayen Agazang and Azangang and Gelega, she say, cause a good command develop figure woman or Mosha as a end of the Nyako. How will you feel? You don't, you know, I don't blame them. How will you feel? You don't even have enough time to have this man for yourself. And then number five is coming in. There are so many questions that goes in my head. Financially, he's a businessman. And yes, he's being featured on reality television. So he has a financial. So I believe that financial stability is there. The children, how is he raising these kids? They live in separate homes. Daddy comes here today or maybe one week and then goes to another uh, home the next week number 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 f another thing how do you feel if you need your husband if you need to cuddle up with him and you know that he is with wife number four and wife number two really really needs the man do they do it together i don't know I don't know, in my head I might be crazy, but <laughs> I'm thinking that if two of them or three of them wants sex or wants him at the same time, he'll probably do it together with them. What do you guys think? I don't know how that works. Are you guys thinking about STD involved as that, in that as well? You stick in your penis in this woman, you take it out, you go over there. Yeast infe infection can occur from one woman to the other and so many other things that we don't know out there. There are so many diseases out there. I come from health background, so I'm always worried about the diseases and stuff like that. Transferring disease from one person to the other. Do they, do they kiss? Do they do threesome or foursome or fivesome? What does he tell them? Does he tell them I love you? And they tell him back. Will you be able to share your love with somebody else? Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment in the comment box. This 
is an open conversation i want to know how you guys look at this i know yes in some religious in some religion it's acceptable the women don't mind of course they don't mind that's why they are in that relationship but personally it's a no-go area i don't know is it because there are not so many men out there do you believe that the population of the women is more than the men and that's why women are succumbing to polygamous family i don't know anyway i will leave you guys here and i will leave the link below so that you guys can look at more pictures photographs and look at the tweets and see what's going on and i will see you guys in my next video if you have not already subscribed hit the subscription button so that you can become part of this family thank you guys and i love you so much bye